Hello and welcome to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar. In this video we'll be considering what the effects are of rhyme. So rhyme is the repetition of words with matching sounds and it can be found within a line or at the ends of lines and we often consider it in poetry or rap. It's important to note that most children's nursery rhymes, well, goes with the title, they rhyme. So let's have a look at two lines of a classic nursery rhyme. Consider what the effects are on the reader and hit pause if you need thinking time. So, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. At the end of each line, star and are rhyme. So we're reinforcing the ideas that connect the words that have a matching sound. So the speaker is pondering the magnificent nature of the star. And so star and R is about curiosity and fascination. But it also drives the rhythm of the whole sound of those two lines. And it pushes us to hear the number of beats in each line. But it also unifies our poem and adds a structure to it. The reason why small children love nursery rhymes is because they are memorable. It's the performance of these words that's a pleasurable experience as the repetitive patterns add a sense of musicality and definitely reinforce the mood of what's being shared in the writing. Rhyme functions not just to help us remember, but to help us reinforce the mood the writer wants to give us. So the mood in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is actually that of focused philosophical fascination and we get that from the way the rhyme works. So the power of rhyme is not just in the matching of the sounds, but it's in the way it drives forward the rhythm. It reinforces the ideas between the words and the sounds, and it adds some really tight structure to make us aware of how to perform it with vigour. Why not subscribe to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar for all things English, literary and grammatical?